guys, it's Sob. This is a very special Halloween video. It's a collaboration with five different YouTubers. In this video though, I will be showing you guys how to make my carrot cake cupcakes topped with creepy spiders. Obviously, you can leave the spider part out of it. It doesn't have to be just for Halloween. You can have it as an everyday cupcake. Don't forget to check out all the other videos. By my friends Anna, Barbara, Lainey, and also Arielle. Alrighty, let's bake. So I have here about three cups of shredded carrots and I just use a cheese grater for this. Put that aside when you're done. Then in a separate bowl, you wanna mix your flour along with some sugar, some baking soda, and last, some cinnamon. And then you just wanna mix this all together until combined and then set aside. Next, you want to take some vegetable oil along with some applesauce, mix this all up together, and then we're going to dump this mixture into your dry mixture. Then you want to add in four eggs, and just with the handheld mixer, you can combine this until, just until combined, you don't want to overdo it with this at all, no need to overmix. And now from here, you can go ahead using a spatula, you can fold in your shredded carrots. At this point, if you want, you can add in some nuts, like pecans, walnuts, or some raisins, whatever floats your boat, but I'm not gonna add any of that because my kids don't really care for those. Then just scoop them into your cupcake liners, bake at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. They should look nice and golden brown just like this. And now for the cream cheese frosting, I'm adding some powdered sugar into my bowl of softened cream cheese, softened butter. I'm going to add in some vanilla extract. And then you just wanna whip this until it's nice and smooth and creamy. This is like the best cream cheese frosting ever. And what makes it the best, really, it's no big secret, is use salted butter. I always tell people use salted butter when you're doing cream cheese frosting because it balances out the sweetness of all the powdered sugar. And here I'm just piping on my frosting using tip number 829 by Adco. So I reserved some cream cheese frosting and I colored it black with some gel food coloring by Americolor. I put some of the frosting into one piping bag and then cut off the tip and then I'm placing it into another piping bag that has the actual tip and coupler in there. Really, you don't need the coupler. It's just if you want to interchange the pieces, but I didn't do that, so I really didn't need it. So here I'm using a tip number three by Wilton. I piped a head and then the body, and then you want to fill it in slightly with some more of the frosting. Not too much. And then you want to take a toothpick and gently kind of blend it all in make sure there's no air bubbles you don't want to spend too long there's no need to it doesn't need to be perfect right it should be kind of creepy looking and then you want to start with the front legs and when you're doing the legs you want to make sure that they bend in a little bit at least for the front and the back ones so they look a little bit more realistic my decorating skills are very limited so please excuse me as i try my hardest here again your toothpick is your best friend and then for the middle legs, I just pipe them straight out, kind of like V-shaped. And now here I'm just repeating the same process on the other side. And now we're just going to work on the back legs. Make sure again that they kind of curve inside a little bit. It looks like a boomerang, kind of like V-shaped so that it looks more like legs. Now to make it look more realistic, the butt, you know, of the spider or the behind of the spider usually is a little bit more rounded. So we're just going to go over it couple of times in a circle and to make it more slightly rounded and take your toothpick and just go back and kind of blend it all in and you're pretty much done. Don't forget to check out the other videos by Anna, Barbara, Ariel, and also Lainey. Hopefully you'll find some inspiration there on what to make for your upcoming Halloween party. Thanks for watching guys.